Yo, what's up, everybody? Chris Bauer here, Bauer Sports Media. A quick video for you, real quick. Uh, and I think I'll do a live stream on this soon. Uh, we could look at some of these, what I'm going to call dead programs. What exactly makes a college football program dead? Is it title drought? Let alone appearance in a title? Is it bowl win percentage? If you ask me, I think the automatic, and I'm going to turn this around. I want to show you all a, a little list. Wake Forest, right? Overall record <clears throat> of 420, 609, and 33. Now, Wake Forest came off a pretty good, good season. This actually was put back in 2012. Um, now let's update this real quick. Uh, 2021 Wake Forest. Well, this is actually the whole right here. They still have more losses. They're still less than 500. Th this is a key factor. This, this is just to give an example, folks. I would say the first key factor and what could make a program in college football dead. And again, let's do a big live stream on this sometime. And we can hang out and look at some dead college football programs, irrelevant programs, down in the gutter. One good season, like Wake Forest, they were like 8 no. They were winning all these games, and they had one of the better years. Uh, Sam Hartman, the quarterback, they had one of their better seasons in forever, right? Dave, Dave Clawson is the coach currently. He's done pretty good himself. Uh, 51 and 48 in his eighth season. He's above 500 uh, win percentage for him. Uh, but just to point out an example, the key factor, if a program has more losses all time than wins all time, yikes. That's a key factor. That's just a small part of it. But want to hear from you guys. What are some dead programs in college football in your opinion right now, what makes a program dead? And again, we'll do a live stream on this very soon and we could get you on and I'd love to hear your opinions on it uh, very, very soon. Maybe do it ne sometime next week. Uh, could be a good talking point uh, here in the college football offseason. Love y'all. Jesus loves you. Hope y'all have a blessed weekend and uh, God bless. And as always, folks, from an Alabama fan, we're all tied. Love y'all.